Have you ever wondered what happens in a crash dummy lab? Well, Marvin Hatchett works at one, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it here today. Hi, Marvin. Thank you. Thank you. Well, so tell me a little bit about crash test dummies. Tell me about your family and, and how they came to be and what you do with them. All right, I've managed a crash test dummy lab. And in the lab, we have a wide variety of dummies ranging from a six month old all the way up to a 95th percentile male. So with that variety of dummy, it allows us to do a wide variety of crash tests. The sensors allow us to sense what the actual crash test dummy felt in the test. And so the same sensors that we put in the large dummies, we can also incorporate in the smaller dummies. Now, this is a 50 percentile male, which means he represents the average male. And what I mean by average, if he could stand, he would be about five foot nine, and his weight is about 170 pounds. This dummy is actually used for frontal crash testing, which means uh, the majority of his instrumentation is designed to receive that energy from the front. Uh, but as we will see later, we do have dummies that are designed to receive the energy from the side, which would make those side impact dummies. We have a lot of instrumentation in the dummies so that the dummies can give us the feedback we need uh, to describe what happened in the test. The only difference with the smaller dummies is the size of the dummy, so therefore we cannot incorporate as many instruments in the dummy. But the price of the dummies are amazingly about the same. <laughs> Kids are expensive, we know that. <laughs> Um, this is the latest dummy that we have in the Crash Dummy Lab. Um, he's designed to receive the energy from the rear. The structure makes him more biofidelic so that um, when we put him in a rear impact test, he will, be, he will give us a better example of what we would experience in that test. So Marvin, can you tell me if the Crash Test dummy, Dummies give us any feedback about internal injuries? We know how much force and acceleration it takes to cause bodily injuries to individuals. So by capturing the forces and accelerations experienced to the dummy in the same position and same crash, we can then determine how much uh, injury would have occurred to the person sitting there. Marvin, thank you so much for letting us hang out with your family today. I have to go check out a crash test, but I'm going to take this one because He's a lot quieter than mine. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs>